The nose knows. That's right now in motion. They're all around us, day in and day out. The brain may be tuned to certain ones and may filter others out, but they're still there. Odors are a part of our lives, some tolerated and some not. But when the odor is in your backyard every day, that odor can become a nuisance. A nuisance odor would be a situation where odors happen frequently enough, um, are of an intensity such that um, they become problematic for neighbors, um, that their duration is of a long enough duration that um, it's bothersome to neighbors, and their character is such that they're offensive. Doctors Robin Brandt and Eileen Wheeler are co-directors of the Penn State Odor Assessment Laboratory in the Department of Agricultural and Biological Engineering. This laboratory focuses on the gaseous emissions that emanate from agricultural sources. In the state of Pennsylvania, farming is a mainstay with gross agricultural sales of $5 billion. But as residents of urban areas flock to the suburbs and farmers are producing more with less land, homeowners and farmers are finding themselves in each other's backyard. So now that buffer zone between animal agriculture and residences has shrunk. At the same time, many farm operations have increased. Their sizes have increased so that they can remain profitable. So we have more manure, mo more potential for odors, and more people who are non-farmers or people who may be offended by you know, farm operation odors. Uh, so we have this sort of perfect storm. A perfect storm is the perfect description for this situation. Pressure is being put on farmers, animal farmers especially, to control odors that emanate from livestock housing, manure storage, and field operations. The odor assessment lab team quantifies odors that come from agricultural sources, but to do this, the assessment lab must rely on the most sensitive odor detection device known to man, the nose. Volunteer odor assessors are selected based solely on their keen sense of smell. Odors can be categorized using several different factors. This Venn diagram shows how the odor assessment lab goes about detailing how we perceive smells. The five rings represent frequency, intensity, duration, character, and hedonic tone, which is whether the odor detector believes the smell to be pleasant or unpleasant. The space outside the octagon is the setting where the odor was detected, which also affects how we perceive odors. The center intersection of the rings represents our perception of the odor, which will vary when one or more of the five factors is altered. When our overall perception is negative, we call this a nuisance odor. To qualify and train odor assessors, the odor lab uses an olfactometer. This instrument acts as an odor dilution system by which a person's olfactory sensitivity can be measured in terms of dilution threshold, the lowest concentration of an odor to be detected by the nose. Once a team of odor assessors is assembled, then odor sample acquisition is addressed. One way is to gather odorous air samples in non-porous bags. The contents can then be sampled with the use of an olfactometer. But no matter how much care is taken in gathering odor samples, sometimes it is best to evaluate the odor on site. Well, the field olfactometer is a device that in effect simulates the laboratory-based dynamic olfactometer. These devices take air samples and dilute them with, with carbon-filtered non-odorous air. When we're out here in the field with a field olfactometer, the odorous air is the ambient air. We're standing in the odor. Once odor concentration data has been collected with olfactometer instruments, subjective odor quality data is obtained to fill in the Venn diagram. This information can be used to establish baseline conditions for evaluation of potential odor reduction practices. Penn State's Odor Assessment Lab seeks to identify new practices and techniques aimed at mitigating agricultural nuisance odors. Um, we have looked at, for example, surface applied manure versus various techniques for incorporating the manure into the soil during application. And we've identified techniques that result in less emissions. While smells from animal agricultural sources range from the pleasant cutting of hay to the less pleasant smell of manure fertilizer application, 
Penn State researchers, along with others, are working on ways to minimize nuisance odors to assure the suburban-rural interface remains a pleasant place for farmers and backyard gardeners alike. For In Motion, I'm Kurt Parker.